Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astral Web, and this video I've been wanting to create for a while and wanted to play uh, with integrating Bitcoin for the Magento website uh, or for Magento e-commerce websites. Um, but before I begin, I want to specify a few things. Um, number one is uh, I'm, this video just shows you how to integrate BitPay's, the company BitPay's um, integration extension to enable um, for Magento. Um, I personally have just installed it. I, we have not been receiving payments yet, so I just wanted to note to show this is for test purposes, and um, we we will start at a accepting payments hopefully in the near future but again um, you know this video is just to show you how to install it um, and uh, we definitely would like some feedback from other people who use it as well uh, but again this is for test purposes so please try at your own um, you know at your own warning um, BitPay seems to be from from my quick research uh, one of the bigger companies that lets you accept payment and one of the nice things that, that uh, I personally like about it for Bitcoin is that uh, you can immediately convert it into US dollars so you get on a daily basis uh, funds in US dollars to your checking account, to your bank account basically so kind of re reduces uh, some risk of, of the Bitcoin um, and the second thing I want to explain is that uh, definitely uh, I'm, I'm a, not an expert in Bitcoin this is a lot of playing so we uh, we definitely like some feedback from people who watch the video and uh, over time we'll learn more and it's a very interesting thing so this video again is just to integrate the actual extension with a, a with Magento and just to show you how it works so first thing you want to do is just go to Bit, BitPay you know figure out if that's what what you want to register with um, and of course we're not affiliated with BitPay in any way. Um, what you want to do is go register, uh, sign up with an account, of course you have to verify, uh, add your, your checking account number and verify and, and kind of lift your, your um, payment uh, limits and then once you do that what you want to do is just set up your profile and everything. Um, you can include in the settlement page uh, how you want it. If you want to keep the money in Bitcoin or if you want to transfer it you know, all to uh, US dollars or to other currencies or part it to US and part to Bitcoin, you can kind of do those kind of things. So what you want to do is just log in after you register, set up everything, set up your account, specify things like uh, you know, two-factor security so it's a little bit more secure, make sure everything is set up, everything is good to go. So uh, after that, what you want to do is go to, uh, just go to Google or go to BitPay and type in Bitcoin for e-commerce right here, bit, bitpay.com slash bitcoin dash for dash e-commerce. And you want to download the Magento plugin itself. And uh, you always want to make sure that you have the latest version um, just so it's, it's more secure and it's more updated, okay? So once you download, if you click on that, it will download to your, your computer. So if you open this, what you'll get basically is, is a folder called BitPay Magento Plugin. And what you're going to do is take this whole folder, the app folder, the lib, and all of these. And number one, you want to read the README, of course. Okay? And uh, it'll basically explain pretty much what we're doing right now. But you always want to read that. And you're going to take all of these files and you're going to go to your server with any FTP client that you have. Okay, and I'm going to show you, uh, basically we're going to upload it to our main Magento directory installation. So um, let's just log in for a second. Okay, so you'd basically go to the main uh, public HTML or, or the main Magento folder. In this case, this is ours. And what you would do, you just copy this, excuse me, just copy all of it and just throw it on the server. Now I've already done it to save a minute or so of uploads. Um, once you do that, you want to go to, let's close this, so pretend like we just uploaded even though we did that prior. <clears throat> uh, what you want to do right now is log into your Magento admin, make sure you clear your cache, um, and uh, uh, just in case sometimes if you clear a cache and you still don't see it in the system configuration sometimes you need to log off 
and then log back on and you'll see it. So once you clear your cache, you go to system, uh, and of course system uh, cache management you can clear here. So flush all the storage, flush the cache if you have any problems. Go to system configuration. Okay, and then what you're going to do on the left hand side, you're, gonna go, you're going to go to payment methods right here. Okay, and you should have a new tab now that should say, let's close this, should say here Bitcoins. You see that right there? So we have a lot because this is a test server for us. So if you click on Bitcoins, now you have a few things. You have these options which are very straightforward. Um, number one, is it enabled, yes or no? Of course, um, the title, the title that it would show, let's show an example. Um, the title they would show, so uh, when people select the actual payment option, it would say Bitcoin or Bitcoins. Um, full screen invoice, it, it, right now we set it to yes, and what that means basically is uh, when someone goes to pay, they can see it kind of like a QR code and the actual option to pay um, on, it, while staying on your website rather than uh, if it's set to no, then they would go to bitpay.com, just like PayPal standard offers to go to paypal.com to complete the, the, the payment, okay? Um, the next thing is the API key. So what you want to do in your BitPay, BitPay account, you want to go here to Security Center, click on API access keys, add a new one, you see right here, just copy it, okay, and paste it here, okay? Um, and then after, um, that's it, okay? Now the next one is transaction speed. Now um, again, because I'm you know, fairly beginner with this, um, basically because it takes time for the whole uh, network to confirm an actual transaction on Bitcoin, it typically recommends, uh, it, it lets you set the transaction speed if Magento will actually confirm the order um, it lets you set between low, medium, and high. And basically it says here that it determines when a BitPay payment confirmation is sent. High is an in, a, which means an invoice is confirmed immediately when payment is received. So that means um, payment is received, you get, it, you get a confirmation, the status should change uh, in the Magento. Uh, medium, if the if an invoice is confirmed after one block confirmation by the network, and then low. So Basically, if you want to be more secure and make sure that you really did receive the payment and the network confirmed on Bitcoin, um, you, you want to set it to low, okay? So what it says here, the default and safest setting is low. So if you have any doubt, set it to low. Uh, we set it to medium just to, to be okay uh, with this test, but I think we'll actually do low just to, just to make sure. If it recommends to be safer, uh, then we definitely want to do that, okay? Uh, now what you do here for currencies accepted by BitPay, uh, BitPay is you can uh, let people pay in a specific uh, um, currencies. So you can just do only Bitcoin and just remove everything else uh, or do other ones. So we're keeping it default, that's fine. Sort order is to sort out the order uh, when the user goes to the, pay the payment options which payment method would be above each other. So we're not filling that out. Um, and then the next thing is set order complete with com complete IPN. So um, this is basically going to change the status on an order for the admin. So if you go to orders right here, um, when a payment gets made, does it change to complete or does it change to processing? Um, and if, if you know from other payment methods, when it, you let's say you have PayPal Pro or PayPal Standard, when a payment is made, typically the the status goes to processing, right? Um, so what it's a, if you set it on no, it'll stay in processing, and that means you still have to ship um, out your your package or your goods or whatever it is. So um, typically, I re recommend if you still have to ship and you, if you have another step after receiving payment for a customer, you would set it no. If you have like a digital good or something like that, you might want to set it to yes. And uh, just let me know if you have any questions on, on this and uh, be happy to help. Uh, that's it. Once you finish, you click on save and the site should be ready to accept uh, Bitcoin. Pretty, pretty simple. So let's actually look at this test server. Just add a random, again, this is just a random test server, right? 
So let's add a product here and let's take a take a look as as a consumer, as a customer, right? Let's add this say uh, flat screen to the cart. Okay, and let's go to proceed to checkout. Let's just fill in some random information, okay? Let's check out as a guest, continue, uh, test, test. Email is, let's just do a random email. Okay, address, and just LA, California. Okay, and just a random telephone. Okay. Okay, now shipping rate, obviously that's non-relevant to this video, and payment information. So if you did everything correctly, you should have one called Bitcoin right here. So if I, as a consumer I click on Bitcoins and I click on continue, now I'm going to go to the last order review, right? And if I place order right here, it'll submit an order, right? So now an order will be in the system itself, and now it basically lets me uh, pay, a, lets me get the QR code and actual payment itself. So I can, if I'm on my phone, I can just click, or if I have an app, I can go to pay, um, or I can use a QR code, and that's basically it. So now if I go to the orders themselves, you'll see that the order we just made, if you see 200002, right, is right here, is made, and the status is payment review. So if I make a payment, it should transfer to processing, right? Now, again, because I mentioned in the beginning that this is still a test, we have not done a real live transaction yet. So, again, this is just for reference. So, please, you know, test this out, uh, make sure it works. Um, and uh, I would love your feedback. If anybody has done this it, 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 before we do this or after, would love to discuss with people. It's a really interesting uh, thing to accept Bitcoin. And I uh, would love your f feedback and questions and happy to grow and, and learn more things about it. Um, that's basically it. And also you can see there's an expiration time. Um, let me know your feedback. Thanks again for listening to this video. I appreciate it.